physicist Brian Cox also questions the Big Bang theory by stating that something cannot come from nothing. The James Webb Telescope has made a remarkable find that contradicts the idea that the Big Bang marked the basis the question of what really happened if the Big Bang was not the starting point of the cosmos. Scientists have a pretty solid understanding of the early universe that we know and appreciate, such as the Big Bang theory. According to this model, electromagnetic radiation from the early universe to the abundance of the lightest elements and have found that it all fits with Big Bang predictions. As far as a crucial part is missing, the first moments of the universe. The challenge of understanding it stems from our limited physical theories. We use relativity and particle physics, however, when exploring the origins of the cosmos, the equations become convoluted and our current tools do not provide definite answers. The presence of a singularity at the start of the Big Bang points to the existence of unknowns. This extremely dense concentration does not fit harmonically. We need a new physics to solve this enigma. Our current set of resources is insufficient. We call for a new physical theory, like string theory, capable of addressing gravity and other forces in high-energy contexts. This theory holds that it can shed light on the beginnings of the universe. Within the framework of string theory, the conception of an equirotic universe emerges, taking its name from the Greek term meaning fire. According to this view, the Big Bang we know of arose from a previous event, suggesting that it did not represent an absolute beginning, but rather part of a larger process. This concept is amplified in cyclical cosmology, a theory influenced by string theory. Although the idea of a universe in cycles has been the subject of debate for centuries, string theory gives it a mathematical foundation. The cyclic universe oscillates between explosion and collapse phases in a non-stop cycle, projecting itself both into the past and into the future. Roger Penrose, laureate of the Nobel Prize in 2020, postulated this theory. He discovered a mathematical link between the early universe of the Big Bang characterized by extreme heat and density, and the future state, cold and devoid of matter. His theory suggests that both states converge towards identity at their limits. Surprisingly, the complete absence of matter could be the trigger for the generation of all matter in the universe. From this approach, the Big Bang arises from an almost imperceptible vestige that remains after all the material components in the universe have been devoured by black holes which eventually fade into photons that dissipate into a vast vacuum. In this way, the universe in its entirety emanates from something that, from another perspective, is practically as close to non-existence as can be conceived. However, this empty state remains a kind of entity, constituting a physical universe, albeit one devoid of substance. The enigma lies in how this same condition can be interpreted both as a cold and unoccupied universe, as well as a hot and densely populated one, all depending on the point of view. The key lies in an intricate mathematical technique known as conformal rescaling, which is a geometric transformation that alters an object's dimensions while preserving its structure. Penrose showed that the cold and empty state, together with the hot and dense state, can be linked through this transformation, aligning their spacetime structures. Although their dimensions are different, it is difficult to understand how two entities can be similar in this way despite their different sizes. However, Penrose argues that the concept of size loses its relevance in these extreme physical conditions. In conformal cyclical cosmology, the sequence of events unfolds from an old and frigid state to a young and hot one. The presence of the hot and dense state emerges from the cold and empty state, but this causal connection does not follow the usual pattern of cause and effect in temporal terms. In these extreme states, both size and time lack their conventional meanings. The cold and empty state, together with the hot and dense state, exist on separate timelines from the perspective of an observer immersed in his own time frame. Under this perspective, the cold and empty state would perpetuate forever while the hot and dense state the jet but speculative explanations for the origin of the Big Bang. Even if Penrose's ideas receive support in the future, they may not resolve the deeper philosophical question concerning the origin of physical reality. 
How did this system of cycles in its entirety come about? This leads us to the question of why there is something rather than nothing, one of the fundamental questions in philosophy. For the purpose of our discussion, let's focus on explanations in the realm of physics. There are three primary possibilities about the origin of these cycles. First, there might be no physical explanation at all. Second, there could be an infinite series of repeating cycles, each cycle being a different universe. The quantum initial state of each universe would be determined by some aspect of the preceding universe. Third, there is the option of a single cycle with a recurring universe, in which the beginning of the cycle is explained by a characteristic of its own end. The last two options avoid non-causal events and provide a complete explanation within the realm of physics. Penrose proposes a perpetual cycle of events, influenced by quantum theory. In quantum mechanics, a system can exist in multiple states until it is observed, at which point one is selected at random. Penrose suggests that each cycle is influenced by random quantum events, generating variations between cycles. This intrigues experimental physicists who could detect clues in the radiation from the Big Bang, recorded by the Planck satellite. Penrose and his team believe they have identified such clues, linking them to radiation from black holes present in the earlier universe. However, other scientists question this theory and the validity of their observations is uncertain. The James Webb Telescope has revealed phenomena that defy both cosmology and the Big Bang theory. They have found huge ancient galaxies, unusual for their time. These galaxies existed when the universe was just 3% of its current age, much earlier than expected given their magnitude. According to theories, the universe in its beginnings must have housed small galaxies, not colossal ones. The presence of these galaxies raises questions about their formation. According to earlier conceptions, the universe cooled after rapid expansion, allowing gas to condense and give rise to stars and galaxies in what we call the Dark Ages. However, the discovery of these huge galaxies suggests that the Dark Ages may have been more active than we had supposed. Dr. Emma Chapman, an astrophysicist at the University of Nottingham, noted that this hints that the universe experienced profuse star formation much earlier than anticipated. More detailed observations and analyzes will be necessary to corroborate these findings and understand their relevance to our conceptions of the universe. The research team plans to use spectral images to accurately measure distances and estimate the masses of galaxies. Meticulous analysis of these images will be essential to verify the existence of these galaxies and to gain further knowledge about them. The surprise generated by these findings underscores how science is constantly evolving and how we must adjust our theories when we have new evidence. Although it is premature to dismiss the Big Bang theory, this finding challenges our understanding of the early universe and urges us to take a new approach to our current perception.